Hey everybody, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, I wasn't going to make a video today, but um, I decided to in light of the news yesterday. Um, if you don't know the news, um, Samuel L. Jackson was being interviewed about um, a movie, doesn't matter which one, I don't remember, um, was being interviewed by an entertainment news anchor in Los Angeles. I believe the station was, I don't know, a bunch of letters. But anyways, he was being interviewed and the anchor got it wrong and confused him with Morpheus, Lawrence Fishburne, from The Matrix and thought that he was in the Super Bowl commercial. Uh, I think it was uh, some sort of vehicle. Um, and he confused him. And I am so sick and tired of these great men, these great men, being persecuted, these amazing news anchors for making a simple mistake from, uh, you know, famous um, actor, you know, has made billions of dollars for movies. And he continues in the interview to absolutely destroy him and come down on him like nobody's business, like he is some, you know, Talent, well, he's a talented person, but just absolutely destroys him. Do you have any idea what it's like to be a news anchor in a great uh, area, making a six-figure income, having to deal with doing three to four hours of research every single day and day out, interview celebrities, live in a place that gets very hot in the summertime, although it's winter, and have to interview person after person after person who are greater than the one before them. He is a human being who eats well and does his job and occasionally makes mistakes on local and now national television and the internet. How dare you? Snakes on a plane? Bullshit. Snakes in your life. Pick on the small guy. Pick on somebody like who works a regular job and doesn't have the camera pointed at them all the time and doesn't, you know, have a six-figure income and live like this. Somebody who can focus on it more. What is your problem? You are a very, very talented person. And you go and ruin somebody's day who they'll probably forget it by the end of the day, but still we should all be reminded of it. Do you have any idea how much script that they have to read on their teleprompters? Do you, the, the number of news stories that they have to cover. He probably had to go home in his, his infinity, go home to his wife and say, hey, I'm gonna be all over the internet. I'm gonna be all over the news. My name is gonna be everywhere. How many chairs he has to sit in? How many studios he has to sit in at 67.5 degrees? This economy is bad. And businesses realize that. So they bring down the temperature and the video's grainy and the audio's bad. So they can't hear them as well on the other side. You know how hard that is to deal with day in and day out? Having to stick the little thing in their ear so that it's not comfortable, but you know it's comfortable enough so they can hear the person during the interview. And they got to stare at the camera for three or four minutes. Those cameras might cause cancer. Everybody who's watching this video, everybody who finds out about this story, go to the grocery store, get a sympathy card, write it, and send it to this guy. Send it to him because he needs your help. I don't remember exactly what his name is. Uh, do, um, I don't know. Just look up old white guy messes up interview with Samuel L. Jackson. I'm sure you probably find it. I'll probably look it up later. That's not what it's important. The important thing is, is that we're there for him and we're there to support him in this tough time so that he can go to the beach and he can have a glass of wine and he can get over this. And it's hard to remember names sometimes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you have any idea, Samuel L. Jackson, what his March is going to be like? His name is going to be on the internet for goddamn 
three to four months, if I become half the man, that that great man, shit, what's his name? Samuel L. Rubin. If I can become half the news anchor that he is today, then maybe somebody will remember my name someday. And maybe I can make the same mistakes that he can make in interviewing. I probably wouldn't want to do that because I'm not an imbecile. But I would be grateful for it. Do you know how many people I get mistaken for? I put on a suit and tie and automatically I'm a manager of a grocery store. You think being a news anchor in Los Angeles is easy? I'm halfway down the goddamn street going to Panera Bread trying to get some lunch and I gotta remember a name. I might even have to Google in Wikipedia your bio so that I get it right. Do you think I have time for that? No! I've got a wife and kids at home who I have to ignore. If you could do me one more thing, um, subscribe to the channel um, because um, like Sam Rubin, um, I want my name in the news too. <laughs> he should rename his name Samwich. You know, because like Rubin and then a <sighs> tough break though for him. Stay strong, man. And maybe, maybe, maybe go on the treadmill too because you, you, you really didn't look too good on the news.